Bonjour. In this incredible edition of Killing the Cubase, we're going to talk about monitoring. Okay, uh, let's talk about monitoring here. Um, and when I say monitoring, I don't necessarily mean like the, your studio monitors or or, um, like, or your headphones or whatever necessarily. What we're talking about is what we hear when we record a track. Um, let's see. Let's just go to the end of this big mess here since it's up. All right, we're creating a new audio truck. Now, it's complicated. But it's really a per setup thing, and because of that, Cubase has... Steinberg, who, whatever you want to call them, the Germans have created quite a few options, um, which can be a little bit confusing. And uh, I want to talk about all these options, and hopefully I don't screw this up too bad because um, they got their own way of doing things. In fact, I probably should have done some homework before I started this. Okay, too bad. I know what I'm doing. Okay, what we need to do when we talk about monitoring, we're talking about this button right here. And what that basically means. There I go with my basically junk again. What that thing means is if we have, let's say you're recording um, a guitar DI and then we're using uh, a plug-in like, uh, oh, we'll use Guitar Rig. Uh, then uh, to for our, our sound, we're going to reamp it later. So we're going to use Guitar Rig just to hear what we're doing. What this means is, is when a guitar player signal is flowing to this track, we won't hear anything, even if it's actually on, until we push this button. And then, then what's going to happen is, it's going to route the signal from his guitar, like the live signal as he plays, through this and to our, our stereo bus, our two bus, which let me kill the guitar right now. And it'll run it through here. Now, I can't really show you this because my setup's not really good for this. I mean, I guess I could. I got a feeling that'd be cause feedback and weird stuff because my my console's I'm doing all my monitoring within the console, which means like right now as I do this video, um, I've got my mic and my preamp, which compressor, and then um, I'm hitting channel six on my console, and that's going straight to uh, the, the headphones. So I'm not using the um, Cubase for any monitoring for my personal thing. And, and if you were using any direct monitoring, that's what it's called, direct monitoring. If you do this within your software, and for example, I've got. Uh, my DSP or my, my RME uh, interface will allow me to create cr a custom mix. And see, there you can see my channel coming in. I could spit that right back out real time. Not all interfaces do that. Um, some interfaces force you to go through Cubase and deal with the latency a little bit and come back out, which that's not terrible either. It's not fun for voiceover like this because uh, there'll be a delay and it causes a chorusy kind of effect. And that can really screw up the talent, I'm assuming. <laughs> Unlike today, there might be talent in front of the microphone. Uh, singers notoriously hate it too, so I'm a big fan of, of direct monitoring. Um, but anyway, we're going to assume we don't have that option because most of you probably won't, and I didn't for years until I got my console. But uh, what we have here is we'll go to File, Preferences, and there's a lot of good stuff. Even though if you just kind of skim through it, you may miss it. Um, there's a lot of fancy features in here that are very useful if you understand them. But um, what we're talking about is auto monitoring. Now... Uh, we've got a few options, and these are fairly uh, straightforward. I definitely check the manual because I always forget what's what's uh, what's what. But um, I don't really deal with tape machine. I don't remember what that even did. So look that up if you're if you're interested. But um, what this means, um, it, it basically says when do we monitor um, with auto monitoring? When do we kick in monitoring? And so if let's see if we can still do it over here. No. Okay. Let's say we're gonna click it on while record enabled. What that means is, is the second that we hit this red button, we're going to hear the microphone and not the track at hand. So um, that can be good for, let me see if I can throw a track in here. Maybe that'll give you an example. Uh, I don't know if I have anything really good, but I'm just going to grab an overhead because I can, I guess. Um Okay, let's see if this works at all. This may not sound any good. Come on. Okay. Hit play. Our right, plan. See, the deal is when you hit record, you know. What the hell happened to this? That's another, oh, I've got a guitar amp. <laughs> Woo, I'm really organized this morning. Okay, we're going to bypass that. 
Okay, so we have an overhead here. All right, now the second that we arm it, we are now switched to whatever the mic coming in is. And I don't have that set up for, for this right now, but uh, overhead's a bad example. But the deal was this was a vocal track, and the second we hit arm, the, the, the new singer stuff's coming in, like whatever's coming from his microphone is what we're going to hear, or we're going to. Um, we're going to mute his previous track. Um, so you have to be real careful when you put that in. I almost never use that. I don't like it at all, actually. What I like, um, it makes sense for me, is to do uh, back to preferences. Oh, I, I need to be more careful. VST is what we're talking here. Auto monitoring is what we're talking about. What I like to do is while record running, and that's fairly straightforward, but what that means is we can have the track armed, which I want, and we hit play... There's overheads, okay. But then the second that we want to record, so like so we could punch in now, and now it switches to the real performance that we're tracking it right at that moment. And then when we get back out, and that lets us punch in very specific words, it lets them hear where they're at in the song, and they can hear a few lines before they have to sing or whatever. Um, it uh, I, I find it to be the best way to work, and I just like I like that a lot. What I like most about it is I don't have to turn the the uh, monitor button on and off all the time. So that's very, very convenient too. So um, again, I'm not really, like, I don't think I'm an expert at this monitoring business, but it's something in Cubase that's a little bit tricky for beginners and I recommend you spend a little time on. Uh, the manual, I think, is pretty decent on that, although I'm sure it's written in its usual BS, boring textbook fashion. But as always, if you have any questions on this, go ahead and ask at recordandreview.com uh, and uh or send me a, a private message or email or whatever, and I'll try to help you. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.